Hello everyone, I welcome you all to our YouTube channel where we post educational tutorial videos for anyone in the grind of the medical curriculum. This video is one from a series that we have planned where I, I try my best to ease the process of making complicated pathology diagrams look like a cakewalk. I hope these videos are of help to second year students and even otherwise. Today we shall be going over some of the characteristic blood pictures, bone marrow aspirates of leukemias. So first up, we have acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So let's just try to make a lymphoblast. As compared to a myeloblast, a lymphoblast is characteristically smaller. So let's just make a broad outline of a lymphoblast and just bear in mind the relationship with it as we have to compare it with a normal red blood cell. So here is a broad outline of a lymphoblast. Now starting off, we shall make the nuclei of the lymphoblast, which is characteristically defined as to have a high nuclear cytoplasmic ratio. So here we go. Here is a nuclei. It has a high cy uh, nuclear cytoplasmic ratio. And if you observe, the cytoplasm is characteristically scanty, right? Making the chromatin, we have a coarse nuclear chromatin. So let me just fill in the coarse nuclear chromatin. So here we go. So this is the coarse nuclear chromatin, which is characteristic of a lymphoblast, a high nuclear cytoplasmic ratio, a scanty cytoplasm. And if you observe the nuclei as well, they are characteristically convoluted. They have a coarse nuclear chromatin. And if you observe, we don't have any distinct nuclei. We, we can say that they have indistinct nucleoli. There are no granules as we know that they are of a lymphoid lineage. So they will not have any primary or secondary granules, which are characteristic seen in myeloid lineages. We don't have any all rods. And when we stain these cells, we, we are going to get MPO, that is myeloperoxidase negative, but it's going to stain positive for periodic acid skip. The cytoplasm is also characteristically basophilic. So by drawing this cell, we have made it clear that how we can make a lymphoblast 